Today we're diving into some of the simulators for FPV drones like Uncrash Trip, Velocity Drone and Liftoff. And if you're uh, looking for the best simulator for you to start with, stay tuned and I will be sharing my experience with each of them and maybe that will help you choose which one you should pick for starting with FPV. So first up, we have Velocity Drone. This is probably one of the most popular simulators out there that is very highly suggested for racers. What I love about this simulator is the custom maps. Now this simulator has a very large community that create maps and also most of the racers build the maps inside Velocity Drone before they start racing in real life. It's not only the maps that make it the most go-to for racing pilots, that is also the physics. They are very realistic and it just works very, very similar to what the drones does in real life. With all the maps and the physics, it really is unmatched when it comes to simulators for racers, as this is probably one of the best simulators, at least for racing, in my opinion, there's out there. So if you want to start racing, I would highly suggest you pick up Velocity Drone as a simulator for starting with. And next is Trip. Now Trip has amazing graphics and it looks absolutely amazing. The problem with Trip is that it is quite demanding on the PC or the computer you're running it on, which is a bit of a downside, but it really does look amazing. And if you have a powerful enough PC, I would definitely check this out. What really stands out to me with Trip is the visible pit loop and the ability to tune your drones and make custom setup for drones that if you tweak a little and you work with it, you can really make a drone that feels very, very similar to your real life drones. That's what I've done in Trip and that is why this is one of the simulators I really enjoy using in most of my day-to-day -day flying when I can't go outside and fly. And really using that pit loop and simulating the drone that just makes it really realistic when it comes to, uh, to flying, but you need to tweak it a bit to make it absolutely realistic as possible. And you need to have a decent enough powerful computer. So if you want to see the inner physics or inner pit loop idea and you want to tweak around with your drones and you have a lot of different kind of custom drones that all fly very different and you have a pretty powerful PC, I would definitely go with Trip. While Trip has amazing graphics, there's also Uncrashed. And Uncrashed is less demanding and has still has very, very great graphics. But it, I don't, I can't really get it to fly that realistic. I don't know why. I used to think it was more realistic, but right now I can't really get it to not feel as floaty as it did before, which is a little bit annoying, but I don't know if it's something on my end or it's different PCs or if I change something. I reset it all and it still feels a little bit too floaty. What I do like about Uncrashed is that their custom maps design function are absolutely amazing. That works very well and that's super fun and as well as a multiplayer function that actually works very well not just for racing but also for freestyle as i said before the downside for me is the physics in uncrashed it's not as realistic as neither as the other simulators out there i wish they were more realistic but because i really do like the custom maps and i do like to have the graphics with me but it's not a simulator I would choose right now, maybe in the future. But if you love designing maps and exploring and playing with friends in freestyle setting on your own maps, you could choose this simulator as it is pretty easy to pick up and fly. The last simulator I'm going to talk about is Liftoff. And Liftoff has probably been my most played simulators. I got a little more than I think it's 200 hours in that simulator. Liftoff has pretty good physics. It have a mix between racing and freestyle. I'm not using it as often lately because Trip is just better for if I want better graphics and a really nice pit loop and Velocity Drone is just better for if I want to race. I don't like most of the map which is a little bit of a downside but for beginners it does have a very nice introductionary feature that makes you learn to fly FPV drones. So it's not a bad option for beginners but I do think that some of the other simulators have a bit more to offer when it comes to simulating FPV drones. So if you're looking for a very large ball of map to select from and very realistic physics and a bit of and mostly racing, I would definitely go check out Velocity Drone as it is very, very good. And it's one of the most popular simulators for racers as well. And Velocity Drone is just hard to beat in that category. Going on to Trip, I would say this is highly customizable and you have a visible pit loop and you can make a very 
and you can make a lot of tweaks to the drone that makes it just fly very similar to your real life drones. So if you are tweaking and tinkering with your drones and like that aspect of it, I really suggest that you go check out Trip. I do hope Uncrashed gets an update to get the physics a bit more realistic, but until now, I don't really recommend Uncrashed as a simulator unless you really like playing with a lot of friends and you don't mind that little bit floaty feel that makes it a bit easier to fly. And Liftoff is a pretty good all-round simulator if you're just getting started. Let me know in the comments below which simulator you chose or which one you fly currently and let me know why. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.